Good morning. Pretty glorious out here this morning. Major storm last night. I got here pretty late, so uh, yeah, I didn't do uh, any setup on video. It was uh, it was pretty bad though. Everything is a uh, double guide, quadruple guide. Wind was whipping pretty good last night. Yeah. I don't know who that other truck is. They're just here this morning. kind of rude there was a whole flock of wood ducks sitting right there just a minute ago but when I came down out of the tent woke them up I didn't bring the camera up into the uh, into the tent with me oh I don't know if you can see that there's two deer running across oh I don't I doubt y'all can see that way across there Oh, another one. There's three. Three deer running across there. Yeah, that's way far away. I doubt y'all can see that. All right, well, I got to go gather some water and uh, get coffee made. The water's pretty shallow for a little ways out there. So we're gonna have to uh, dig us a collection hole. Because I don't have any rubber boots and I don't feel like getting my feet wet. So. dug we're gonna let that dirt settle the catadin filter would uh filter that out no problem but i don't like to make the filter work that hard i have to replace it quicker so i have one more bottle of water so that should be enough to get breakfast started oh man i gotta decide i gotta decide between breakfast and coffee yeah yeah coffee it is I know I said it in another video that uh, the uh, pot wasn't fitting anyway I stopped on my way out here yesterday one of the reasons I got here late because I went shopping uh, REI traded it out no questions asked So, got a new stove, new pot. Pretty cool.
coffee cup. Just got a visit from the game warden, Texas game warden. Showed up, I heard somebody walking up on my camp. I'm like, what the shit? But it was them. Check and see what I was doing out here, I guess. Uh, it's opening day for rifle and it's youth weekend for uh, ducks. So, There are a few blasts going off around me. I can hear somebody calling, calling ducks. Been a bunch of wood ducks on the water this morning though. got about a liter and a half the hole's not totally clean yet but I couldn't wait because all I had was a 10 ounce bottle of water so I need to uh, I need more more coffee than that and I need to get breakfast going so we'll come back later and fill it up some more Get a little water going here. Make some breakfast and make a little more coffee. a big storm last night I got set up just in time yeah it was uh, pretty windy <clears throat> as bad as the wind was the storm was coming from that away so it's moving the air and the wind was just whipping from this away blowing in the end of the tent I was a little bit wet when I got in the tent last night. Just a little bit. Everybody was messaging me this morning asking if I was still alive. Put a new filter on the catadin and uh, I don't know, I got something going on. I don't know what it is. It's leaking. Have to mess with that in a minute. But we're gonna get breakfast going first. Oh, 
So what's for breakfast? Some peak two biscuits and sausage gravy. I know I normally cook, but not this weekend. I just didn't feel like it. I don't know, if I was a duck hunter, I'd probably be right here. Maybe I'll get my license again next year. Although I live in Louisiana, this is Texas, so that would be kind of expensive. It's actually got biscuits in there. I parked kind of far away from the water because uh, I don't know what this lake does when it storms and I had seen that the uh, weather might get rough so I parked on up away just in case the lake flooded. I may move the camp down a little closer, but I don't know. So, I got another chair. So I don't have to steal caches anymore. So now we both have a chair. This is the only one they had in stock at the REI in uh, North Houston. They got them online, but I like to walk into a store and buy stuff. I guess it's just 
me being old. Maybe. I don't know. But I like to walk in the store and buy stuff. <coughs> I ordered a, a now I order a lot online, but I ordered a a new grill. I don't know who I ordered that from. I'd have to look it up. Expedition somebody, something or other. And uh been waiting. I wanted to have it for today, for for this weekend. But it still hadn't come in. There's a place. This isn't the original campsite that I wanted, but I'm happy about that I got this one. The original campsite God looked at on a Gaia. I'm trying to remember where it was last night. Somewhere back that away. Anyway, it was a uh, uh, there was a place to park, and uh, in about a half mile hike down to the water. The road was closed, so they didn't want you back there. I walked down there and checked it all out, but uh, yeah, it was a. Uh, it was closed off, so I don't know if you weren't allowed to hike and camp, or you weren't allowed, just weren't allowed to drive. But I thought better I just leave there and uh, keep driving, try to find another place. There was another little place about a hundred yards from here, and when I passed by last night, there were some headlights. Somebody was in there, and. Uh, I was like, I was getting ready to pull in there when I saw the headlights and I was like, crap, okay, move on. Come about a hundred yards down the, down the road or trail, not much of a road. Uh, and, <coughs> and I find this pull off. So I pull off on here. Nobody was here. And truthfully, other than the trees not being right next to the water where I could have, you know, camped. Uh, this is a nice place. I like it. A lot of trash. I was picking up trash earlier. It's a shame. It's really a shame. People get, you get nice places like this it's free to come to, you know, nobody's, you know, putting up fees or anything like that. You get just asshole, just trash the place, just trash it, beer cans, and who knows what all else, it's just stuff, it's ridiculous. Like somebody found some birds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight woodies just flew across there. Man, if they weren't so far off, I'd video it, but they're so far off, I don't think you'd be able to see it. Now you could have seen that one.
50 years old. I guess they're not girls anymore, they're ladies. But, uh, so I'd ask this lady to go meet me for a drink. And, uh, she said, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <clears throat> I figured I would clean up a little bit. So I got the clippers out. Instead of paying somebody to take care of it, going to the barber shop, I decided I was going to trim it up myself. And I got the clippers out. And I got myself so bad. I ended up having to put a guard on and just take it all off. So, and then I was so upset with the way this looked that I just bailed on the girl. Yeah, like, <laughs> we had never nailed down exactly what day. It was going to be like a Wednesday, Thursday thing. I'll message you later in the week. And, uh, yeah, anyway. I didn't exactly ghost her, but I kind of ghosted her, but it's because of my beard. But that's me. That's how I be. I tell you what. That cup of coffee, I think that was my best cup of coffee ever, made with this French press. I usually put the max amount of water in there, and uh, I didn't have, you know, all I had was 10 ounces of water out of a water bottle this morning, two scoops of coffee. Man, it was perfect. I mean, perfect. Two scoops, 10 ounces of water. I don't know how much this holds in this cup. This is 450 milliliters. You're right. I will see y'all after breakfast. Got a little table. That's my table. Right there. Right. Not to get political. Tuesday is uh, election day. Y'all go vote. I don't care how you vote. We are a democracy. It's your duty to vote. But I'll be glad when it's over because, uh, man, the text messages I've been getting the last two weeks, three weeks, I guess. You know, whiskey support this. Whiskey will match this. We'll whiskey donate to this. Anyway, y'all go vote. We're going to try out.
these. Premium, premium biscuits and sausage gravy. This smells good. The gravy's not real thick. Kind of watery. Mm, it's starting to thicken up a little bit. Look, it actually has a biscuit. Can you see that biscuit? Another biscuit. Let's give it a try. It's, it's kind of watery. It's not bad. I got something to make it better. <coughs> Serrano condiment. Camera battery died. Ooh, man. That's pretty good. Y'all hear that? I don't know if y'all can hear that. I'll try a biscuit. No. That tastes like my uh, my grandma's day olds. That's what it tastes like. She'd make biscuits in the morning. And then whatever whatever was af left after breakfast, she'd put on a plate and put them on the back of the stove. Her kids, her grandkids, all of us cousins, we'd walk by all day and grab biscuits off the back of the stove. And uh, there was always biscuits on the back of the stove. Every once in a while, you get one that was left over from the day before and you didn't realize it was in the pile with the rest of them. And that's what that tasted like. Nice and crunchy. I didn't like it. Old Green Jeans earlier said that he saw the wood ducks that were right here. And there was a bunch of them. All just sitting here. I guess they went to that other cut pull in over there and look down the beach and saw me saw my camp and saw all the wood ducks there were so many they thought they was decoys that's why they came and checked me out they said that scared the sh 
they scared me. They scared me. Because I didn't hear them until they walked all the way down the, right up on me. They come around the other side of the truck. And I was just like, dude, that scared the crap out of me. You know, lucky y'all didn't get shot. I don't know why they, I mean, I don't understand why they sneak up on people. They want to catch them doing something wrong, but. I mean, if you could see me from up there just sitting here when they walked up. They could have announced themselves to me. We're going to save that for a little later. Now I'm going to enjoy some coffee. And watch the sun come up. And get some more water. Figure out my water filter. Something's wrong with it. Not sure what. Sun should be rising up right there pretty soon. So, <clears throat> pretty busy in the woods today. All right, I'll see y'all later. <clears throat> Yeah, after a pretty crappy night, big storm, it's a beautiful day today. I mean, it's just gorgeous. A couple of fishing men over there, one way across over there. good bit of trash out here I've been picking up trash this morning I'll pick up a little more later well, it's just really pretty out here I didn't mention it already at least I don't think I mentioned it already I am at Sam Houston Jones National Forest uh, it's north of Houston off of uh, 45 actually it's on both sides of 45 45 runs through the national forest uh, Waverly I think Texas is a town that I came through to get here anyway this is uh, I think I think this is Lake Conroe. If it's not, I'll correct that. <clears throat> but, uh, this is my first time out here. But yeah, it's nice. A lot of the, uh, roads that are marked on the, uh, Gaia Overland layer they don't exist uh, at least not anymore they may have existed at one time
Yeah, that that point. I think that's where I was at last night. I think that's where I was originally trying to camp. <clears throat> Pretty sure. But I don't know, I can't complain about this spot. It's pretty, pretty nice. Yeah, no complaints here. go take a hike but I'm gonna wait till the morning's over let all the hunters get out of out of the woods I don't want to get shot then again I may just find a place to pitch the hammock and take a nap I don't think it's probably only about nine o'clock right now so yeah I got the whole day to just mess around just Relax. All right. That green jeans is back over here. things too good to be true uh, my epic camping spot here uh, well it's illegal for me to be here just had a uh, run in with the uh, Forest Service and uh, they came down wrote me a warning though they were really nice, two, two females, uh, very nice, and uh, they wrote me a warning, and they gave me recommendations for other camping spots that are either pay or free to use, um, being that it is, the hunting season uh, is open, I can be in this area up until October, uh, basically first, um, but the... Uh, this this hill right here is actually supposed to be a berm um, the uh, to prevent you from driving down here um, talking to them they don't have signs up because they either get stolen or knocked down drove over or shot at uh, so they don't have a sign saying no driving any further than this um, also, they said that the uh, water line, is, the water is very low, and that usually the water is about right here where I'm standing. This is the water. Uh, but anyway, they recommended some other camping spots, so I'm breaking camp down. I will be moving uh, to another spot of their recommendation. They actually recommended a whole bunch of spots that are open now and some for if I come back during the, uh, the uh, summer months uh, can come back. You know when it's legal to be uh camping in certain areas uh or seasonal areas i guess i should say should say um i can uh come back during those areas so she showed me a bunch of spots um to uh to check out so i mean you know they're i'm breaking the law and they uh they gave me a warning and that was nice of them they could have been I guess hard asses about it. I thank them for not being. And uh, anyway, I'm going to finish packing up and I'll catch y'all when I'm at the next spot. So as I'm driving out, I've caught up with the, the uh, forestry service. There's lots of vehicles parked on the side of the road on either side, all the hunters, and they're walking out from their, uh, from their vehicles to go hunting, I guess. Uh, all of them have, all of them have tickets.
rockets on the windshield. So uh, I guess if they had met with the uh, hunters and the drivers of those vehicles, that they might uh, they might have given them the warning too. But I guess if you can't uh, see those people, then I guess you just get a parking ticket. But yeah, there's tickets. There was uh, four or five vehicles back there, so. So we are moving. I'm gonna try one of their recommended camping spots. We will, uh, I didn't pack everything up. Pack it up, up. Uh, just made it so that I could uh, move on down the road. Save me time unpacking it. Uh, we're headed towards the, we were kind of south central and I guess south west central-ish area. We'll be moving to the northwest area of the uh, National Forest. And uh, yeah, I sure, sure do appreciate the, the females with the, uh, with the Forestry Service being very cordial and, uh, you know, giving me, letting me off with a warning. They had every right to ticket me, no matter if I got upset about it or not. They had every right to ticket me, but they were, uh, they were very nice and uh, did just issue a uh, warning. Uh, the offense was uh, camping out of bounds. So, um, but they realized too that the berm that was there is really no longer there. And uh, that somebody like me from Louisiana, first time in this national forest, could easily think that, that was a road. So um, she did recommend that I uh, download the Avenza app. I think that I have that on my phone already. Uh, but she said the uh, all the national forests are on there. I did not know that uh, on Avenza. So, um, and I'll download that to my iPad just as soon as I have service or, or when I get home. And that way it'll help me find my spots better. So originally, if you look right there, uh, that's the road that uh, I planned on going down. Um, 2346, I think is what it says. Uh, but as you can see, the gate is up. Uh, now there is a road going around the gate. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I did. I walked it last night just to see uh, before it started raining. Uh, it was actually pretty clear when I got here. Uh, but there was a big band of, uh, of uh, storms heading my way. So, uh, but I did walk down it and it's not what I thought it would have been anyway. So, uh, I didn't, I didn't even go, I didn't uh, bring my pack or anything. I just hiked down it with my headlamp. Speaking of, I need to charge my headlamp. I forgot. I need to find my cord so I can charge it. Well, uh, because it was very dim last night. Normally it's super bright. Um, but anyway, I'll be back with y'all once I find my new camping spot. <laughs> 